uh, this is like my mobile office there, and suddenly I hear incoming gunfire. Uh, the situation at the cafe is that you have a kind of veranda, and uh, soon after that, people started moving inside, screaming, screaming, and I could hear like the gunfire moving towards the main entrance of the shopping mall. So some people run out of art cafe uh, in a kind of panic, and quite a number just fell down as slow as possible on the ground. And then uh, I could hear the fire moving into the shopping mall. Um, I talked to an eyewitness. I didn't see it myself. But this eyewitness said there were 16 guys entering that shopping mall. Other people said there were only six people. Uh, I got somebody confirmed who got two. So it's not very clear how much is in there. What is very clear is that our people are stay, uh, kept off the shopping mall, that special forces have been moved in, and that the situation now is like I talked to uh, an eyewitness inside, and they're standing there, yeah, still firing uh, uh, bullets there. Uh, and uh, just describe what the mall was like. Was it busy at that point? Um, what sort of people were there? I think it's one of uh, Nairobi's most, uh, if you put it negatively, posh uh, shopping mall, very prestigious. Uh, and uh, a Saturday lunchtime is typical place where a lot of expats and upper middle class, the middle class Kenyans uh, are having their lunch. Uh, so Saturday at, at around 12, it's very busy. There is a big supermarket there, so people go for their weekly shopping. The cafe is a popular lunch hangout. Upstairs, where uh, the, the guys who entered the mall are set to stay now, there's another big uh, coffee lounge kind of thing where people uh, tend to have lunch. Uh, yeah, it's quite a big uh, popular shopping mall, especially on Saturday. So I think it was really kind of rush hour, uh, the time of the attack. I'm, I, I, I'm safe outside now, and from time to time you can see small groups of people either running out um, private uh, people with guns uh, saved some uh, some lives. Came out with some wounded people, and I saw uh, with my own eyes at least 10 to 15. I think 15 casualties that I counted. Then bullet bounced, but I didn't see any dead people. But according to people who were talking to me, and they were apparently on the third floor of the mall, uh, they saw uh, bodies.